And we're live. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the Fellowship Joy YouTube channel, and check out our website, fellowshipjoy.ca. Welcome back. Here's Pastor Doug here. This is our host Rowan, who's pretending to drink water that is not in his cup for some reason. Tonight, tonight we're reading from Judges chapter 16. Welcome to a moment of joy. Also, don't forget to smash that like button. We use a gavel because we're reading from Judges. One day, Samson went to Gaza where he saw a prostitute. He went in to spend the night with her. The people of Gaza were told, Samson is here. So they surrounded the place and lay in wait for him all night at the city gate. They made no move during the night, saying, At dawn, we'll kill him. But Samson lay there only until the middle of the night. Then he got up, took hold of the doors of the city gate, together with the two posts, tore the moose, bar and all, he lifted them to his shoulders and carried them to the top of the hill that faces Hebron. Sometime later, he fell in love with the... Do we want to stop there or do we want to move on? I mean, how many verses is that? That's like four. It depends what happened. Well, let's read on then. Sometime later, he fell in love with a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. The ruler of the Philistines went to her and said, See if you can lure him into showing you the secret of his great strength and how we can overpower him so we may tie him up and subdue him. Each one of us will give you 1,100 shekels of silver. So Delias, Delilah said to Samson, Tell me the secret of your great strength and how you can be tied up and subdued. Samson answered her, If anyone ties me with seven fresh bowstrings, that have not been dried, I'll become weak as any other man. Then the rulers of the Philistines brought seven fresh bowstrings that had not been dried. Then she tied them with them. With men, with men hidden in the room, she called to them, Samson, the Philistines are upon you. But he snapped the bowstrings as easy as a piece of string snaps when it comes close to a flame. So the secret of his strength was not discovered. Then Delilah said to Samson, You have made a fool of me. You lied to me. Come now, tell me how you can be tied. He said, If anyone ties me securely with new ropes that have never been used, I'll become as weak as any other man. So Delilah took new ropes and tied him with them. Then with men hidden in the room, she called to him, Samson, the Philistines are upon you. But he snapped the ropes off his arms as if they were threads. Delilah said to Samson, All this time you've been making a fool of me and lying to me. Tell me how you can be tied. Like, is Samson this dumb? Why would he trust her? Like, I don't understand why he trusts this woman. Never trust a woman. Never, never trust a woman. Whatever. He, he replied, if you weave the seven braids of my head into the fabric on the loom and tighten them with the pin, then I'll become as weak as any other man. So while he was sleeping, Delilah took seven braids of his head, wove them into the fabric, and tightened them with the pin. Again she called, Samson, the Philistines are upon you. He awoke from his sleep pulled up the pin in the loom with the fabric. Then she said to him, How can you say I love you when you won't confide in me? This is the third time you've made a fool of me and haven't told me the secrets of your great strength. With such nagging, she prodded him day after day until he was sick to death of it. So he told her, No razor has ever been used on my head. He said, Because I am a Nazarite dedicated to God, from my mother's womb. If my head were shaved, my strength would leave me, and I would become as weak as any other man. When Delilah saw that he had told her everything, she sent word to the rulers of the Philistines, Come back once more. He told me everything. So the rulers of the Philistines returned with the silver in their hands. After putting him to sleep on her lap, she called for someone to shave off the seven braids of his hair. 
and so began to subdue him, and his strength left him. Then she called, Samson, the Philistines are upon you. He awoke from his sleep and thought, I'll go out as before and shake myself free. But he did not know that the Lord had left him. So the Philistines seized him, gouged out his eyes, took him down to Gaza, binding him with bronze shackles. They set him to grind grain in the prison. But the hair on his head began to grow again after it had been shaved. Do you have any questions? I have a feeling it's going to be high gouge, you know? I imagine quite painful. Quite painful, I would assume. Like, it's have you been, pain, pain, I've, pain. I've been poked in the eye and that hurts, so yeah. getting a gouge right out has got to really hurt. Can you still see out of that? No. No. No, he's blind now. That's the, that's the point. Yeah. They, they blinded him so he couldn't fight back. I don't know why they didn't just kill him. They're weird too. Like none of this makes a lot of sense. But one thing you, you gotta, don't make a lot of sense. One thing you gotta learn from this it's is if anybody ever says the words, "If you really love me, you'll do this," don't do it. They're they're trying to manipulate you. They're lying to you. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, is there any other questions on there? No. All right. Is there any prayer requests? No. All right. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you that your spirit no longer leaves us. We thank you that if that your word promises that if we're your children, your spirit will dwell within us forever. Well, as long as we live, actually. We love you, Lord Jesus. We want to be filled with your spirit and with your power. As we pray, Lord Jesus Christ, then. Amen. All right, so join us tomorrow. You can either join us here on Facebook Live, or you can join us in person at 175 Queen Street East, St. Williams. Or you can join us later on our YouTube channel, the Fellowship of Joy YouTube channel. But join us tomorrow in some way, shape, or form. Also, you can join us tomorrow evening at 8.30 for another moment of joy. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.